Here's the lowdown on Harley Davidson's 2022 Lowrider South and Saint. For anyone who thought that Harley Davidson Low Riders are for cruising low and slow, take a look at the updated Lower Rider S and the new Low Rider Street. Utilizing the Milwaukee 8 117 cubic inch, 1923 cc, engine, these low riders are no easy riders, they're purebred performance machines. Whether a buyer desires the lean and mean low rider S or the touring capabilities offered on the low rider street, these bikes from the bar and shield show how Harley Davidson is adapting to the demands of the market. Taking inspiration from the riding community, Harley-Davidson incorporated common custom touches they saw at bike shows and rallies and integrated those styling cues into these stock motorcycles. In the end, the entire riding community benefits, as items that were once custom mods are now available from a local HD dealer. In the automotive world, there is no replacement for displacement. Harley-Davidson understands that more than any other motorcycle manufacturer, as their classic V-twins have steadily grown from the Twin Cam 88, 1450cc, that launched in late 1998. The latest iteration of the air, oil-cooled V-twin is the Milwaukee 8117. Producing a claimed 103 horsepower and 125 pound-feet of torque, the engine once reserved for Harley-Davidson's CVO line, now has wider applications. Both the Lower Rider South and Saint benefit from this expanded use of the 117 engine and that should translate into satisfied riders, as these bikes bring an increased level of performance to the table. The upgrades to the Low Riders S will undoubtedly appeal to many riders, but the news regarding the new Low Rider Street may bring even more buyers to the motor company. Drawing inspiration from the old FXRT, the new Low Rider Street is Harley Davidson's answer to the sport touring craze. A motorcycle that definitely falls into the tall bike category. The low rider street has an elevated stance thanks to a taller rear monoshock that the high mount saddlebags accentuate. The main message is that the ability to tour does not come at the cost of lean angle. Yet the low rider street also provides a fair bit of protection thanks to the newly designed front fairing. Developed via CFD, computational fluid dynamics, analysis and real-world testing, the fairing showcases this bike's emphasis on form and function. Prospective buyers can find the Low Rider S in dealerships now for an MSRP of $18,349, but those looking for the Saint will have to wait until late March when they can expect to pay an MSRP of $21,749. On January 26, 2022, Harley-Davidson launched the newest members of its 2022 new bike lineup, and every last one of them comes packing the power of the Milwaukee 8117 powerplant. A total of eight bikes were part of the announcement, including the Low Rider South, Low Rider Street, Street Glide Street, Road Glide Street, CVO Street Glide, CVO Road Glide, CVO Road Glide Limited, and CVO Tri-Glide. Riding high on the Motor Company's 2021 success in Moto America's King of the Baggers competition, Harley is offering up its 2022 Street Glide Street and Road Glide Street models. Both come with the company's reflex-linked braking system, which includes Brembo components and abs. Naturally, boom! Box GTS infotainment systems with full-color touchscreens are part of the package, along with those Daymaker LED headlights. The big differences between the two 2022 touring models are in the aesthetics. While your choice of a gunship gray or black and bronze colorway is the order of the day for both, the Street Glide Street comes with the traditional batwing fairing and more upright posture and profile. Meanwhile, the Road Glide Street opts for a shark nose and dual headlights instead, which stretches out the visual profile just a bit. The major news from this announcement has to be the introduction of the 2022 Low Rider S and Low Rider Street models. As rumored, both get a serious powerplant upgrade to the Milwaukee 8117 engine. The Low Rider Street adds a higher rear suspension, high handlebar setup, FXRT inspired front fairing, and a set of high, tight saddlebags that were designed to not get in the way of your canyon carving. That's right, it's a bagger made with cornering in mind, according to Harley. The Low Rider Street is Harley's vision of a sport touring bike, with a fairing that offers both form and function, and saddlebags that offer a combined capacity of 1.9 cubic feet, or 53.8 liters. Bar risers and a digital display relocated to nestle nicely within them add an uncluttered look to the cockpit. 
Suspension on both the Low Rider Street and S consists of a 43mm inverted front fork and a rear monoshock that offers one half inch more stroke, one inch more rear wheel travel, and three quarters inch higher seat than the one found on the standard softtail chassis, as well as preload adjustability. Dual 300mm front disc brakes come with abs fitted as standard, and there's full LED lighting all around, as well as a USB charging port for your devices on the go. Braking on both low rider variants is accomplished with dual front 300mm discs, and abs is fitted as standard. A 19-inch front and 16-inch rear cast aluminum matte dark bronze wheel set comes wrapped in Michelin Scorcher 31 rubber. Finally, the 2022 CVO Quartet consists of the CVO Street Glide, CVO Road Glide, CVO Road Glide Limited, and CVO Tri-Glide. All come with exclusive handcrafted paint, premium audio systems, and Harley's Cornering Rider Safety Enhancement System and Hash 40, which is also available as an option on every bike in the Grand American Touring Line, including the Street Glide Street and Road Glide Street and Hash 41. For reference, that includes electronically linked brakes, cornering abs, cornering traction control with an unspecified number of modes, drag torque slip control, vehicle hold control, and tire pressure monitoring. The 2022 Lowrider S is already available at Harley-Davidson dealerships worldwide, and the Lowrider Street will roll out in late March, 2022. Pricing and availability will vary by location, so your best bet is to check your local Harley-Davidson dealer if you're interested in finding out local details. In the US, pricing starts at $18,349 for the 2022 Lowrider S, $21,749 for the 2022 Lowrider Street, $29,999 for the 2022 Road Glide Street and 2022nd Street Glide Street, $41,899 for the 2022 CVO Street, Glide and 2022 CVO Road Glide, $44,899 for the 2022 CVO Road, Glide Limited, and $49,999 for the 2022 CVO Tri-Glide.